Now, yesterday I talked to you out of 1 Corinthians of how we're still fleshly and how uh, we have the flesh at work within our life and how the Apostle Paul uh, pointed that out of the church of Corinth. Now, that doesn't need to be an excuse within our life not to live saintly because it is the will of God, it is the desire of God and the purpose of God for us to live saintly, to give him glory and honor within our lives. In fact, the Bible tells us in 1 Thessalonians, Thessalonians chapter 4, beginning in verse 3, it says, For this is the will of God. This is the will of God. That, that ought to perk up our ears and our spirit to begin paying attention. If this is the will of God, it needs to be my will and it needs to be your will. For this is the will of God, your sanctification, that is that you abstain from sexual immorality, that each of you know how to uh, possess his own vessel in uh, sanctification and honor not in lustful passions like the Gentiles who do not know God. And so we don't need to live like the rest of the world who don't know God. We need to allow God to do a work within our lives to where we will continue to live holy lives. Now, when we're saved, God redeems us. God saves us from our sins. Those sins are wiped out. They are removed, but we continue to pursue him and seek him every single day of our lives. The apostle Paul said that I've been crucified with Christ. It's no longer I who live, but he who lives within me. So he said, I've died to me and come alive to Jesus Christ. But he's also said that he dies daily. Doesn't mean that we get resaved every day, but every single day we seek God out to live that sanctified, that saintly life that brings honor and brings glory to God. The Bible says here that is the will of God. We don't live like the world. We don't live like the Gentiles that don't know God. We live like children of God that do know God. Now, does that mean that we're going to do that perfectly? No, but we strive for perfection within our life. We strive for holiness. We strive to be set apart, which is, means to, to, to be saintly, to be uh, sanctified, to be holy. We strive for that within our lives. In fact, the Bible tells us, God says to be holy, therefore, because I also am holy. Again, this is the will of God for our lives. Verse 6 goes on to say, and that no man transgress and defrauds his brother in the matter because of the, the Lord is the avenger in all these things, just as we also, uh, uh, we also told you before and solemnly warned you. Verse 7, for God has not called us for the purpose of impurity, but in sanctification. God has called us for sanctification. Are we fully sanctified in the flesh yet? Are we fully sinless in the flesh yet? No. Our spirit or soul has been clean. But you know what? We pursue him every single day. To live a life that's going to give him glory and honor, not for the purpose of the world giving us accolades, but for the purpose of bringing glory and honor to God because this is the will of God for our lives.